Simpsons uh, lesson together. Oh, uh, something new about me? Uh, no, there is a man drive car. Nothing special. Oh, yes, you told me. How are the driving lessons going? Have you already started the driving lessons? Oh, I'm already starting the driving, but uh, maybe I'm not good at it. Uh, oh. Sometimes, uh, sometimes I mean, for this point, I did not yes. a good job compared with uh -huh. my fellow classmates. I mean, yeah. So I need to practice more. Of course, that's important. Practice makes perfect, and I know it isn't easy. Uh, I've had a lot of difficulty with that myself in the past. Uh, it's not easy uh, to drive um, because there's so many things to think about, so many things you have to be careful of. So, well, all I can do is to encourage you by saying, uh, keep, keep, keep it up, um, keep going, don't give up, and sooner or later uh, it'll become easier for you and it'll feel all right and comfortable instead of a little bit awkward and complicated and difficult. Is that all right? Uh, yes, yes. Thank you for your encouragement. I mean, yes. could you mind, mind help um, help deal with me with my... Maybe, maybe, can, can, can you help me to uh, correct it when you, when you are free tonight or in the class? Oh, I mean, yes. We can do the corrections if you like. I mean, uh, uh, do you want to do that in the class, or would you rather I do that uh, after the class? What do you prefer, Joe? Maybe, but 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 this is not Zoom. I mean, so it's hard to do correction at the same time. Oh, Wait. I see what you mean. It's not like with a Google document or or shared screen, um, even yes, though. Yes. We oh, do have a shared you can screen. Can share Skype. screen. Wow, yes, that's wonderful. We can. can share screen. Yes, we can share screen with Skype actually. So, so. if you wanted to do it, uh, it would be possible uh, to do it uh, with Skype. So it's up oh, to you yes, to see what yes. you would rather do if you want to do. It. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. So, sh um, do you want to share the screen and then? Uh, oh yeah, I will sh show you the screen. Okay, that's great. Excellent. Okay, we saw that. Mm -hmm. Sorry, wait, wait a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Uh, can, 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 can you see my screen? I already... Well, I can't see it yet. At the moment it's blank, but I know that it does take a little bit of time for it uh, to appear. Uh, so you just need to wait a few moments and then normally it uh, should appear. Uh, or maybe, can, can you share with me? Can you try think... to share with me? Yes, uh, that could be possible. Uh, so, for example, uh, I click first of all on uh, shared screen. There we go. And then uh, I. Well, how click... about this time? Can you see you? Can you can, can you see the screen? Well, I mean... yes. Now I can see uh, your screen. Yes. Okay, so okay, I'll okay. Stop the screen share on my side and I will look at the screen share on your side. Okay, yeah. that's great. I can see that now. Wonderful. So, what you would need to do is to read it and I'll just. Um, oh, maybe. Yes. I will read it, and if mm -hmm. you find something you think can make it better, and stop me mm -hmm. and make 
and we yes. and do some judgment and do some mm -hmm. corrections in here. Yeah, okay, so I will mm -hmm. begin. I will begin. Uh, hi, today I'm delighted to introduce the Chinese calligraphy, and I want to share with you how I'm in fond of. Can now, I use this? You don't you say, uh, Jerry, sorry to interrupt you, but you don't say how I'm in fond of this hobby. You don't use the word in, you would just say how I'm fond of this oh, hobby. So you need to, that's right, you need to remove the word in, and then it's yes. good. Mm -hmm. I'm fond of this hobby. To be yes. honest, at the beginning, I didn't like it because I was forced to learn. To learn, uh, maybe to learn, not to learn it, but without it, I think. Will be so better. I was forced to. Um, so you don't say by my parents. Uh, oh, I see. Forced by your parents. Right. I see what you mean. So it was your parents who forced you. Oh, to learn it, okay. Uh, to be honest, at the beginning, I didn't like it because I was forced um, to learn. Uh, I think you still need to use it. Um, okay. Because when you say forced to learn, um, well, it could be learning anything. It could be just learning in general. But here, it's specifically this that you were forced to learn by your parents. So, yes, yeah. you would say, to be honest, at the beginning, um, I didn't uh, like it because I was forced to learn it um, by my parents, okay? I was only seven years old. While well, my fellow yes. primary, school primary school classmates ha mm -hmm. should be had plenty of time. Sorry, uh, grammar mistake. Had, that's uh, right. Yeah. Had plenty of time and energy to play video games. Yes. But I gradually realized is beauty and the symbolization of Asian characters. Mm -hmm. uh, without doubt, through thousand years of practice and accumulation, Chinese calligraphy has been widely accepted as a vivid expression of high esteem and Chinese Aesthetic. Aesthetic. Is aesthetic. Aesthetic. So I'm just going to go over this again myself just to make sure everything's all right. So, uh, to be honest, at the beginning I didn't like it because I was forced to learn it by my, by my parents. This uh, is 100%. I, 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 I write without copy, without a pastor. <laughs> well, that's very good if you. If you so you wrote this using your own words, is that right, Jerry? Using my own words, yes, using my wow. own words. That is really uh, cool. Later, I ha have something I copied, uh -huh. have only one or two sentences I used from other So articles. if it's one or two, you uh, have to say it in the plural. If it's one sentence, then it's singular. But if it's one or two, you have to say one or two sentences. Oh, one or sentences. Right. sentences. One That's or two right. sentences I Mm -hmm. Copy the form on the side, other other place. Right. Well, that's really good, and you've done a really good job uh, of that, uh, Jerry. So uh, I would say that to make it more understandable, because I hesitated when I saw the word "by" in front of my parents, because um, uh, it was a little bit separated separated from the verb to force. So. To make it more readable and understandable, I would say because I was forced by my parents to learn it. Okay, wait a So I was forced by my parents uh, to learn it. And the reason why is uh, because uh, when you're talking about learning something, you usually learn something with somebody else. And so at first I was thinking that you were learning this with your parents. And that's why I was going to say you should use the word with rather than by. But in fact, it wasn't the learning that you were doing with your parents, but it was the forcing that was being done by your parents. And when you have uh, uh, like a little bit of confusion uh, as to the meaning of a sentence because 
the different parts uh, related to each other in the sentence are separated from each other, to make yeah. it more understandable, you put uh, all the parts that are related to each other close yes. to each other. And yes. therefore, there's less confusion. And here, you put it right after the word forced, because uh, it was forced by your parents, and then there's no more confusion. And then it's only oh. after that you introduce this verb to learn. And so people are not thinking about learning with your parents. You see, they're not thinking it's that because you've already dealt with uh, the verb to force that you were forced by your parents before talking about the verb to learn, which is the next thing that one is thinking about after that. Can you see that a little bit better now, uh, Jerry? Oh, yes. Okay, yes. so because I, I was... So you were going to say? That's, uh, uh, that's okay. Well, my fellow primary school classmates had plenty of time and energy to play video games. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Uh, but I gradually realized is beauty and the symbolization of Asian characters. Yes. Now, oh. once again, Jerry, sorry to interrupt yes. you, you know that the way you, 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 you're spelling these words, it's with American English. You do realize that you're using American English here. Of course, you can use American English if you prefer, but I yes. just want to make sure that you realize that this is American English. And do you know why? Uh, There's already two words here that indicate that it's American English you're using. Uh, uh, sorry, what? I am you don't, confused. You don't know. These, these all words, I mean, they have different of different spelling. Uh, pronunciation between British and oh, American. No, no, no. The, the pronunciation is the same. The, the, the pronunciation is the same. That's why it's not easy to detect uh but it's here it's in the spelling that is different well it's true sometimes the pronunciation is difficult it's different as well but here in this case it's the same pronunciation but a different oh, spelling sympathy. yes so um the two words are the word okay, realized a -L -I -S -E -Z. that's -E -Z. right s instead of well the americans say z and the british say z okay and also the word symbolization. Once again, oh, symbolization. American, S inside yes, of it. With an S instead of the American Z or the British Z. And those are the two words which are written using American English with the letter Z or Z, whichever you prefer, uh, instead of the letter S in British English. Can you see that difference, Jerry? Yes, yes. You can. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, That's without, good. Without doubt, through mm -hmm. thousand years of practice and, and accumulation. You wouldn't say through thousand years of practice. You would say, um, without doubt, uh, through um, a thousand years. Because you need always um, through the article... That's right, through a thousand years of practice, the article in front of the noun, and here it's the indefinite article, the letter A, that's right, through a thousand years of practice, yes. Through a thousand years of practice and accumulation. Yes. Uh, Chinese calligraphy has mm -hmm. been widely accepted as a vivid okay. expression okay. mm -hmm. of high esteem and Chinese and aesthetic. 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 That's right. So oh, very well so read so far. Sorry. Oh, Sorry? oh thank you. It's, With, it's going to rain outside. It's going oh, to rain? I see. It's going to rain. R-I-A-N. R-A-I-N. Yes, that's right. R-A-I-N. Yeah, it's going to rain. Yeah, in Britain, it's common to say it's going to rain outside, especially in London, yes. raining, raining several times a day, and without umbrellas, oh, yes. it's hard to survive in, in London. 
That's right. That's why there's an expression which says that an Englishman never goes outside without his umbrella. I don't know. Have you ever heard that expression, uh, Jerry? Of course, of course, I have heard about.、It. Yes. And the pollution in London usually、uh, used to be very severe. That、mm -hmm. I mean, everywhere is obscure, and people、yes. in the, uh, how do you say live in London will feel surprised sometimes. Sometimes very sad to live in、yes. such place. Yes, that's true. Yes, there、so、is a lot of、uh, pollution. Sunshine is banned. That's the reason they come south to for vacation. Mm -hmm. uh, and compare with other European countries,、yes. uh, Western European countries, those Scandinavian islands,、mm -hmm. yes. Britain is cold. So a lot、oh, of them、yes. will come to the south to French, to Spain, to、mm -hmm. Greek to have a vacation. Yes,、uh, right. Okay, thank you. And you know that vacation is once again the American English word. A holiday. That's right. Holiday is the、um, uh, British uh, word. That's right. Excellent. Very good, Jerry. Oh,、uh, my first Chinese calligraphy.、Uh, my first Chinese calligraphy teacher used to be strict,、mm -hmm. even though as a Chinese phrase goes, strict,、mm -hmm. strictly teacher teach better students. Um, even tough. Yes, my, my first Chinese calligraphy teacher used to be strict. Even tough.、Uh, you could have、even、a comma.、Though. Yes. Even though. Oh, even that's though. even though. I thought you you meant even tough. So it's、even、like saying、though. he could be strict, but he could even be tough because the way you wrote it was like tough. Do you know how you write the word though, Jerry? How do you write、oh. the words though? C H O U G H. I think that's this is... right. Exactly. So you need to add the、uh, H after the letter T. Yes. That's、Inside. right. As、mm -hmm. a Chinese phrase goes, "strictly、yes. teachers teach better students."、Mm -hmm. uh, but for primary student, it's hard to accept the reality.、Uh, just a moment. Just a moment,、uh, Jerry.、Uh, even tough. Okay. Um, no, so even though no, that's one. My first Chinese calligraphy teacher used to be strict, even though, as a Chinese phrase goes, strictly teachers teach better students. No, here,、uh, strictly, what form of speech is that? Noun, adjective, adverb, verb,、uh, preposition, conjunction. What form of speech is the word strictly?、Um, Uh, Jerry, objective? No, not object. I mean,、um, it's uh, uh, an adverb because you've written ly. Now the adverb adverbs describe verbs. So which verb did you want to describe with this adverb? Okay, okay. Teach, but but this should be strict teacher. Exactly, and if it's to describe the word teachers, which is a noun, what form of speech do you usually use to describe a noun? Ah,、uh, sorry.、Uh, to to describe nouns, you use adjectives, and that's why strict, as you said just now, is the correct word because strict、yes. is the adjective. This is why you use an adjective here to describe the noun teachers rather、yeah. than. The adverb strictly, which would normally only be used to describe verbs. Okay, Jerry.、Yes. Strict okay. teachers teach、right. bad students, but、right. for a primary student, it's hard to accept the reality. So、yes. I'm afraid of calligraphy classes and lost my confidence.、Mm, yes.、So、when I almost abandoned, my parents、mm -hmm. temporarily moved.、Uh, hang on, hang on, Jerry. Jerry, this is in the past. So it's not the verb to abandon or I abandon in the present. Abandon. That's it with ed at the end. Abandoned. Past participle. Correct. My parents temporarily moved to another city. Just brought me to there. I found、uh, a young teacher. Just a moment. Just a moment. My parents temporarily 
move to another city, um, it would be better to say thus, well, comma after the word city, okay, and then thus bringing me not to here, just bringing me here, which would be even better. And oh, if you so wanted to use brought, yeah. you could say thus they brought me. And once again, you wouldn't say to here, but only here. You don't need the word to. So you can choose. Either you say, comma, thus they brought me here. But that's a bit longer because you have the extra word uh, they. But if you were to say, uh, using bringing, you could say, thus bringing me here, which is even more compact and which would be uh, the normal way uh, that the native level English speakers uh, would say this. Yes, okay. thank you. You're welcome. You. Very good. Uh, I found a young teacher mm -hmm. and in there I gain confidence and gradually familiar with well, once Chinese. Again, once again, Sergey, once again, uh, when you're saying in here, uh you yeah. you you mean here yeah. here yeah, that's here. right that's right you don't need to use the word in so you just say i found a young teacher and here and I, here that's right mm -hmm. here i gain confidence and gradually familiar sometimes some small mistakes uh, not familiar <laughs> because familiar is the adjective like a familiar person but you don't gain <clears throat> an adjective which describes a noun. You gain something, a thing. Uh, a thing is a noun. So uh, what form of this um, word familiar, which is there in the form of an adjective, would you use if it was a noun? How would you say it? What, how would you change the word familiar from an adjective into a noun? Do you know the noun which resembles familiar? Uh, Jerry? Uh, which word, I mean? Uh, the word familiar. How would you change the word familiar from what it is, which is an adjective, into a noun? For example, uh, uh, you can have um, a word like, um, <clears throat> let's say, drive. That is the verb to drive. You could have um, a driver, that is uh, a noun. You could talk about um, the drive in front of a house, that is also a noun. Uh, oh, so, so, so how do you change this one? I mean, okay, you know, the way to work. change this into a noun, instead of saying uh, gradually um, uh, familiar, you would say for familiarity have you ever heard of the word familiarity no sorry okay this is All the right. noun okay we talk about a familiarity or the familiarity and so that is the way that you would express this because confidence is the confidence it's the uh, noun and so here you're gaining two things, two nouns. You gain confidence and gradually familiarity. So those are the two things you gain, confidence and familiarity. Both of those are nouns. Familiarity, yeah. that's correct. We use yes. Chinese calligraphy. That's this, right. This fabulous journey lasted for almost eight years. Uh, 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 this was in the past. So it's not the verb last in the present or the infinitive. Past. That's yes. right, past participle. Okay, lasted, yes. For, for, almost, for almost eight years mm -hmm. till I admitted in, okay. if in you my... Ad okay, if you admit the truth, that means you are saying the truth. But here you are not saying something. You are being admitted. That is different. It's not the same meaning. When it's reflexive and it's happening to yeah, you. I'm, I'm being admitted. Yeah, that's I'm right. Being... That's right. Okay. 
no, but um, here it's uh, the past. So you wouldn't say, I was just saying being admitted to give you the example of the verb to admit when it's reflexive. But here is the past. So what's the past of the verb to be? I, yesterday, I, not am, not being. Oh, yeah, I was admitted. I was admitted, I was that's admitted. right. And I so, was admitted. So till um, I was admitted, and you're not admitted in to some, uh, you're not admitted in something, you're admitted to something. So I was admitted to um, uh, my senior high school. Now, can my you see the high. difference in use of this verb to admit, which is different from the verb to be admitted? In this case, you've used correctly the verb to be admitted. Conjugated with the verb to be, in the past, I was admitted. But was. now, if it was transitive instead of intransitive, instead of being reflexive, if it's actually transferring something to somebody, in this case some information, if you admitted you were wrong, that's not the same as being admitted to a school. Do you see the difference, Jerry? Yes. Admit you are wrong means you recognize you're wrong. That is the other meaning of the verb to admit. Yes. Okay, that's good. To right. my high school. All in all, eventually I successfully cultivated a lifelong hobby. Right. That's good. Wonderful. Yes. Chinese calligraphy is not only famous for its flexibility and unique interpretation of literal meaning. Okay. Unique in interpretation. In interpretation. That's right. Of mm -hmm. literal meaning. Literary. Yeah. Literary. 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 Literary meaning. Yes. There are approximately hundreds different uh, styles. Uh, 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 Jerry, Jerry yeah. now, do you remember what we said about words ending with or having towards the end of them? A-T-E. What is the rule about pronouncing A-T-E towards the ends of Ver, uh, of words. Do you remember? It's different whether it's a noun, an adjective, or, oh, yeah, a yeah, verb, yeah. or an adverb in this case. How would you pronounce that pr word? Pronounce which word? I mean... So the word just before hundreds. Can you see the word before hundreds? Oh, okay. Before the oh, L-Y, okay. there's A-T-E. Do you remember we talked about that? A-T-E. Uh, yes. has a different pronunciation whether it's a noun, an adjective, a verb, or an adverb. Here it's an adverb. So how Here it would... should it be approximately, approximately. Well, an adverb is not the same as a verb. If it was the verb to approximate, that would be good. Yes. But here it's not the verb. If it was the noun and the adjective describing a number, an approximate number, approximate. then it's that approximate number, then it would be at the at the end. If it was a noun, it's um well, let's say a candidate, a delegate, okay, uh those are nouns and they end with at when it's ate at the end. But here when it's an adverb it's like the noun and the adjective because it's not a verb. It's only the verb which is pronounced eight at the end. Oh, so here, no, it's not a verb. It's an adverb. So here we pronounce it like the noun and the adjective. That is to say, approximately. 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 That's right. Approximately. Approximately. You, you remember we, you remember we spoke about this uh, previously. Yes, spoke several times, but it's very hard for me. It's okay. Okay, so I'll just write it quickly for you. Um, uh, nouns, adjectives, and adverbs uh, pronounce uh, A-T-E as et like at 
at the end of uh, the word. So nouns, adjectives, and adverbs pronounced eight as at at the end of the verb of the word. Verbs uh, pronounce eight as eight at the end of the word. Can you see that, Jerry? Can you see the difference there? Yes. Right. Nouns, adjectives. Wow, it's raining heavily. It's raining Not heavily. Wow. It's raining heavily. No, the <clears throat> storm is coming. Do you know how we say that in English in an idiomatic way when it's raining heavily, Jerry? Raining cars and dog. Yes, that's right. You know the expression of oh, brilliant. It's raining cats and yeah. dogs. dogs. And as a joke, you can say, um, I nearly uh, stepped in a... Okay, I'll let you read this for me. Uh, I nearly step in a puddle. What's that mean? Puddle. Well, uh, a puddle is the normal way of uh, spelling this. Have you ever heard of a puddle, uh, Jerry? Uh, no. Uh, no. Never... Okay. When it's raining, you know that on the ground there is a lot of water. Um... Okay, okay. I see, I see, I see. I, I understand what that means. It means a lot of water gathered together in the same place on the ground so that the water is a little bit deep, a few centimeters deep. Now, do you know what a poodle is? Poodle? Yes. Have you ever heard of a poodle? No? no. It's, it's a dog, okay, which has a, a certain type of uh, hair on its back, and it's usually very curly, you know, uh, the hair is like going round and round in little curls. So it's like a oh, curly haired dog. Okay. okay, that is a poodle. Poodle. And, and often they are white, white poodles. And so if you say as a joke, I nearly stepped in a poodle, uh, a poodle can be understood as a puddle, which is the normal way you would say it. But if it's raining cats and dogs... Well, a dog is a poodle. So if you have a poodle on the ground because it's raining cats and dogs, <laughs> well, you nearly stepped <laughs> in a poodle, like in a dog, rather than in a, a mass of water on the ground. Can you see the play on words here, Jerry? Oh, okay, I see. The, it's a, it's the like British a pun. Humor. Yeah, it's British humour. It's like a pun. It's a play on words. Okay. Play on words. Yes. Play on that, words. That's oh, correct. Let's continue with, yes, our, please. with, my, with my work. Yes, of <laughs> I mean, course. Please do. Jim. I mean, why did you uh, correct some? Because I'm going to make a video of this. So I have to make it better, right? This is a oh, uh, manifestation you, you... of my experience. Of my uh -huh. it's about Chinese calligraphy. I chose this topic, uh -huh. and maybe I need to finish it tonight. Oh, uh, so. yes. Yeah, so we better go through it quickly. Okay, then we'll go through it quickly. Then, Jerry. Oh no, no, no. We, no, we can, we can do it without doubt. We can finish. We, it. we can do it. Okay, then. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. So you were saying there are approximately. Approximately hundreds different types of okay, standards. Okay, you need to add the word of after the word hundreds. So it's hundreds of. Also, mm -hmm. uh, also uh, it has led to the development of many forms of art in China, yes. including seal curving. Seal. Seal. Yes. Seal curving, yes. ornate paperweights, and ink stones. Good, very good. Uh, another point we should remember is that Chinese calligraphy mm -hmm. has spread, 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 
spread yes, to that's other good. Asian countries such yes. as Japan and Korea. Yes, Japanese and Koreans have developed their own. You don't say Japanese sentence. and Koreans. You say the Japanese and the Koreans. The Japanese. Yes, the Japanese and, and the Koreans. And, and the Koreans once again, and, because oh, and, the, the, these are nouns, you see. And so we yes. need to have the article, in this case, the definite article, in front of the noun. Yes. Yeah, and Koreans. Yes. Uh, have developed their own specific sensibilities and styles of calligraphy while mm -hmm. incorporating Chinese influences. Yes. This is uh, I copied from Google. Okay. <laughs> so this and this nearly perfect. I had okay. been to Japan, and I. Uh, 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 how do you spell Japan, uh, Jerry? Japan. Yes. Japan. The first letter. How do you spell the first letter of Japan? Uh, J J Japan. Is it a big J or a small J? A capital, uppercase oh, or lowercase? That's big right. J. Big J like Jerry. You see, for Jerry, we have a big J. Japan. That's yeah. right. It's a name, proper yeah. name. So that's good. Mm -hmm. I was surprised. I should, I should add a was in here. I was surprised. To find out, to find right. out. Right. I was going to say it, but yeah. you corrected it before I said it. I was just going to wait to see yeah. if you noticed, and you did. Well done, yeah. Jerry. To, yeah. to find out. The Japanese Not found Canada. out. Not to found out. To find out. Because remember, once yeah. you have the word it's, in it's the past, fine. the verb surprise, to surprise, in the past, then the other verbs afterwards don't have to be in the past. Okay? Yeah. To find out. Germany, the Japanese calligraphy versions basically simulate our okay, You need to say to find out that. It's more understandable instead of saying to find out. Uh, because when you say to find out something, it's like to find them out, to show um, that they are false, you see. And that's like to detect or to reveal something wrong about it but here you're not trying to find them out you're finding out something about them which has a different meaning so it's good that you use that to make it clear to find out that yes mm -hmm. that japanese calligraphy version is basically simulate our tang dynasty calligraphy uh, hang, on, hang on a moment because uh, on this screen there's something covering uh, what comes next so okay i can see it all right now so i found uh, i i was um, surprised to find out uh, that the japanese calligraphy version yes is basically is basically what simulate not simulate similar similar do you oh know not not ut similar do you know similar. the word similar okay let me write it for you s i m i l a r have you ever uh seen similar, this word, yes. word before similar that's yeah, right this so, is very widely used this word i'm of course. quite familiar with it absolutely that's right similar mm -hmm. so, and yes. it's similar to something so it's similar to no, I mean I'm I'm writing sim si similar. Oh, oh, you actually want to simulate? Remember, simulate. Yes, it's simulate. the it's the verb to simulate. So you you wouldn't say is basically simulate. You say uh, that uh, the Japanese calligraphy version um, basically simulates. So you don't need the word is. You just yes. then if it's the verb to simulate, then you would say. Uh, the Japanese calligraphy version basically simulates, so just put an S because it's third person singular, okay, simulates, yeah. and then it's good, without the word is in front of basically, so nothing in front of basically, yeah, the, the version basically simulates, that's right, mm -hmm. simulate, yeah, simulate, yes. simulate our town dynasty, calligraphy style. They share tremendous similarities. Uh -huh. As a matter of fact, uh, Chinese calligraphy successfully builds a cultural bridge between different nations and cultures, especially in East Asia. 
Right. Oh, the end uh, was very well written. Oh, was that the the part that was from Google? Uh, no, 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 no. This 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 part is hundred percent written written by me. This oh, part. oh, right. Because you said there was one part that was from Google. Oh, um, two. Actually, it's one part, one and a half, one and a half part from Google sentence ah. sentences. I pick up something from sentence and come right. combine. Because this is not 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 an essay, so no mm -hmm. not need to avoid the same same words to be used in here. So mm -hmm. I can pick up something to to maybe make make my make my article better. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now there's something else here, uh, yeah. Jerry. You've written calligraphy after the Tang Dynasty with a capital C. But elsewhere, you've written Chinese calligraphy with a small c. So normally, you would write it with a small c, like you've done before. Why did you write it with a capital C just after uh, the expression Tang Dynasty? Just after the words Tang Dynasty. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. So yes, small yes. c, calli cal calligraphy style. Okay, they share tremendous similarities. That's good. As a matter of fact, Chinese calligraphy successfully builds a cultural bridge between different nations and cultures, especially in East Asia. Well, that's very good at the end. That's brilliant. And if you're saying that this wasn't the Google part, but this was your part. This wasn't the Google part. It's my part. Oh, my well done. Well, you deserve great. a round of applause. Well done, uh, Jerry. Oh, Congratulations. Thank you. Well, thank you for your help. <laughs> okay, let's, let's go on to another part. Maybe I will finish yeah. the mm -hmm. uh, sharing. Yes. Okay. Okay, so now... But you've so done we... very well. That was good, Jerry. That was a good piece of work that you've done there. That's brilliant. Oh, so, wow. Well, Yes. That maybe we should. Excellent. Okay, okay. So now it's 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 come to the uh, normal time. Oh, okay. Or also send we you with something something about my country's weapon. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, I saw is, you send me a I, second document. Let me just uh, yes. look at it. So first of all, download and then open. So it's uh, opening up at the moment. There we are. I have it in front of me, Jerry. There, you can read it. Okay, thanks. Yes. Uh, a revolutionary condition mm -hmm. subverting next generation fighter jet, fighting fighter jet. Ooh, let, me, let, let me just read this slowly because this is yes. um, uh, 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 quite a sophisticated sentence. A revolutionary cognition subverting next generation fighter jet. Is this from Google, Jerry? <laughs> oh, no, this is uh, an article written by oh, CNN. Oh, right. Okay. Because this is quite high level, you know. Uh, each word, uh, you know, and all of this is describing the jet, actually. So yeah. we have revolutionary cognition subverting. Next generation fighter jet. That's a lot of adjectives it's describing written one by CNN. This is not written by me. This is, of course, written by right. some speaker from uh -huh. the United States. Yes, of uh, course. Revolution, revolutionary cognition subverting. Oh, no, sorry. A revolutionary cognition subverting next generation fighter jet. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Keep going. You're doing well. By ca long ca ca characterized. Characterized by yes. long range, high cap cap capabilities, capabilities. Yes. Penetration, awareness, firepower, yes. and uh -huh. fast decision making. Yes. It's about to come into being a mid grade power competition. Yes. According to a recent paper by the chief designer of China's J20 stealth fight fighter jet. Yes, I saw that in the news, the article about that. I didn't actually read it, but I did see there was an article in the news. And this it was supposed to be a very good uh, fighter jet, the J-20. Yes. Uh, yes. Only mm -hmm. F-35 F and F-22 maybe mm -hmm. compare with it. Maybe yes, of course, absolutely. 
Yes, keep going, Joey. This is an interesting article. I'm glad you chose this. Yeah, Very good. Read them by Xian, read them by Xian, not read them by Chinese. Yes. Chinese. This is not a self bragging. This is one, one of the <laughs> com, com, competitors. Yes. Uh, with, uh, well, it's artificial good. intelligence, the key mm -hmm. field to help pilots process vast information and vast. make decisions. Uh, 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 vast. 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 Yes. Vast information and make decisions in complicated battlefield environments is safe. Environments. Environments is yes. safe. Yes. And great. Uh, it said, sorry, not said, said, said. It said. said. That's right. Mm -hmm. yes. Environments is mm -hmm. said. Uh, yes. Great power competition and the commissionary. No, no, uh, commissioning. No, no. Yes, commission commissioning of yes. more and more fourth generation fighter jets wow. or fifth generation under U.S. classification, mm -hmm. which include China's J twenty, U.S. F twenty two, and yes. F thirty five. Right. There have been extensively discussions on no, the change. Not extensively. Extensive. That's right. Mm -hmm. Extensive discussions on the change in type types changes, of warfare. Changes. Remember, always pronounce the s at the end. Changes. Changes. Yeah. Ch yes. Changes. Changes. Good. In types of warfare, mm -hmm. and the development of post fourth generation fighter jets. Yes. Say the young way of aviation industry cooperation of China. Yes. In a paper published. Well, normally you would say the initials in brackets. How would you pronounce the initials, uh, Jerry? Sorry, which page? Uh, do you know, it's just, it's it's where you were reading just now, and after the name of the company, Aviation Industry Corporation of China. Then there are brackets and there are the initials. And normally, when you're reading an article like this, you would. Uh, pronounce the initials as well. So, just to make sure you're pronouncing the letters correctly, could you also just pronounce those four letters, please, Jerry? A week. A no, week. You, no, you don't pronounce them like a word. You pronounce them separately. So you would say A V I C. A V I C. It's a bit like saying I B M. You don't say I B M. You say I B S. Okay, we start out. A B I C. That's correct. Very good, Jerry. Uh, mm -hmm. In a paper published a Chinese monthly journal on journal a uh, 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 journal journal on uh so I don't uh, uh, it's not an easy word. That is quite a difficult word, Jerry. Have a go. Uh, uh, Have a go. Uh, Aeronautics. Yes, aeronautics. Oh, very good, Jerry. Brilliant. Aeronautics. You said it. Uh, aeronautics last yes. month. Very good. Uh, you see, yeah, it's worth yes. trying. You know, even if you're not sure, it's worth having a go. And you see, you did very well. Well done. Congratulations. Yes. Aeronautics. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Yang is the chief designer of China's fourth, fourth generation fighter jet, the yes. J. In the paper. What Yang did you say after after J? Sorry, I didn't hear J. J twenty. Twenty. That's good. Yeah. So good. In the paper, Yang says that in order said. generate. Careful. Well, it's Yang the past. Say. Said. Said. Yang uh, said that in yes. older generations of fighter jets. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh no, your gosh, no God is good all the time, <laughs> Jerry, and all the time your God is ever so good. Okay, have a go at pronouncing that. Oh, what's, what's the difference between oh my gosh and oh my god? Well, okay, gosh isn't as bad because you're not taking literally the name of God in vain, which would be blasphemy if it was the God version of what you said rather than gosh version of what you said. I found but that Americans commonly, because oh, now there's a summer, I know. Uh, well, programs and I, they say oh my gosh I and know they do all the time and I used to say that as well before I realized that it was wrong from a Christian Christian or at least a believer's point of view because uh, 
it says in the Bible that we will have to give accounts of every single word that we have pronounced. And if we pronounced, uh, pronounce a word in vain, that is, for no useful purpose, for no reason at all, then we are wrong in doing that. So, uh, when we say something, we must mean what we say, and we must say what we mean. And if we do that, then we will be biblically, biblically correct. You know, you've heard of PC, politically correct. Well, there's oh, also... Correct. That's right. <laughs> when it's PC, it's politically correct. And when it's BC, it's biblically correct. That's right. And if you correct. want to be biblically correct, then you shouldn't even say, oh my gosh, because it doesn't mean anything. And according to the Bible, it's wrong to say things which do not mean anything. So, you okay. could, if you have to say something, just say, what is that? Well, that's meaningful because you're asking the question, what is it? So, at least say something meaningful, Jerry, and then you will be B.C. as well as P.C. You will be biblically correct as well as politically so, correct. <laughs> yes, yeah, so maneuverability. Maneuverability, yes. You see, you did say it well, Jerry. Correct. Maneuverability. Maneuverability, yes. Excellent. And maneuverability. 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 That's right. Excellent. You've said that ever so well. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. I mean, wow. This 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 this, this word is maybe the longest word that I I made that I made. Well, do you know what is the longest word in the English, English. language? No, no uh, you can type. Maybe I can try. Yes, I'll uh, I'll write that for you. Let me just um, tell my next student that um, I'll be starting a few minutes uh, later. Late. And okay. that way, uh, I will, um, let me see, um, be able to give you some extra time then, Jerry. I just need oh, to tell yeah. them that yeah, I'll be you, starting a few you minutes have, later. You not, I'm not free. Have next, maybe we, I can book order next time, maybe uh, but, the, last, the last lesson for you. And so, is so, that okay? Well, I order, yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. So you suggest um, booking uh, you, the next, the, the lesson next yeah, time. The next, next time, and you gave me several actual mi minutes. That's okay. Yes. Okay. Well, I can do that then, Joey. Um, I can uh, give you some extra time uh, next time uh, we have a lesson, if that's uh, all right with you. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, goodbye. Okay, Bye. well, thank you very much then, uh, Jerry. Thank you very much uh, for the lesson. And then I'll speak to you next time in uh, the next lesson, Jerry. That'll be great. Yeah. Thanks ever Bye. so much. Okay, take care. Thanks. Cheers. Bye-bye, Jerry. Bye. Bye-bye.